Hey, how is it going? In this quick video, we are learning how to create simple API automated tests using Python and its requests module. As prerequisite, make sure you have Python and PIP package manager installed on your device. In terms of code editor, I will be using Vim directly from the CLI, but you can use Visual Studio Code or PyCharm community. Let's get started by creating a new project folder. In this folder, we need to install the following modules. Great. Let's create a new test underline demo.py file. In our new test file, the first step is importing the modules. Faker module will, will be used for random data generation. Define the base URL. And let's create our first test for get all users. The URL consists of base URL plus API users. The requests module provides dot get method and I will save the server response as a response variable. I am also going to make the first assertion on the status code that should equal 200. Last but not least, I want to format the response data and print it to our console. I am going to simply call our test. Great, that's it. Save the file and let's run the test. We have multiple ways to run the tests. First of them is using directly Python 3 followed by the test file. We have an error, it's about a typo in our status code. Let me quickly fix it. So it's on the line number 12. On the status 
code save the file and run the test again great simple isn't it the test passed and it printed the response data to our console Let's see what happens if we would have a different response status code. Instead of 200, let's assume that we would need 204. Save the file, run the test again, and let's see how an assertion failure should look like. So, it says that we have an error in the test underline demo file on the line number 12. Assuming that we would expect the status code 204, but in reality we received a different value. Hence, we got a beautiful assertion error. I'm going to replace uh, 204 with 200 because we always want our test to pass. Great! There is a second way about invoking the PyTest package for running our tests. So we are going to type python 3 hyphen m pytest hyphen v. Great, one test passed. Please pay attention that pytest runner will only run the tests that start with the test underscore. Great! Let's move to the second test that implies creating a new user using a post endpoint. I will be using Faker for generating a random first name. I will need some headers and also a request body. requests that post that re requires the URL the JSON request body and the headers 
and the response will be saved in the response variable. The same goes for asserting the response status code. That should be 201. I would also want to assert that the response contains a name property. And more than that, I would like to assert that the response stored in a JSON data with the property called name equals the random first name value that we previously used in the request. And also the response job property contains the QA value. That's it. We should call this create user method as well. Simple, isn't it? Save the file and run the test. Okay, we have an error saying that name QA is not defined. Let's have a look into the code. Oh, here in the request body, the QA should be a string. Hence, we should use the double codes. Save the file and run the test again. Great, both tests passed. Simple, isn't it? So this is how we created two automated API tests using Python and requests with Faker in a simple manner. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Happy testing!